Hi Moy, Cynthia Abbas here and today's new Q&A and I'm going to start off with Barry Aldridge and he asks, have you heard about YouTube networks? If so, what do you think about them? You know what, I really don't know, you know. I've read about two sites on them and I didn't understand it whatsoever. I don't exactly know what they're doing. I saw a video which was showing how what it actually has done for people but it's not showing how does it do people and these days and ages yeah anything from YouTube these days that's supposed to um, make you bigger make you like promote you to even a higher level and all that anything that's supposed to be really damn for perfect I don't usually have the confidence that any of that stuff works anymore due to the amount of things that I've always been trying and it's never ever done anything for me so um, right there and then I'm, I'm, I don't know what, what to think about them but if something good comes from them then I guess it's brilliant but for now it's just anything it's just another another thing which probably might fail in my case so I don't know uh, Zaid12 asks what are your thoughts on DC green lighting a Wonder Woman and Flash move v as well as a Justice League movie, Man, Man of Steel. Well, that would be the first movie, movie that was in the Justice League. Oh, are you asking what, what what are my thoughts on a Justice League movie that could be happening, but they're doing individuals' movies first? Well, I'm not really too much into um, the Justice League, you know. I only just watched the cartoon. I can't cartoon was brutal enough and everything like that yeah but when it comes to the actual DC characters the Justice League themselves I'm not really actually into them I think the only character I was actually in is the Martian Manhunter and that's probably about it but I personally really weren't, weren't really 100% into it you know uh, it could be um, uh, but I can imagine it being a good film I can imagine it being a film they'll work hard on they're obviously going to try and make it better than the Avengers I wonder if they could do that. There's a chance they probably could. Uh, I don't really think too much about it, really. And um, the second question: Do you ever see foresee Jedi coming back? His videos and reviews were always fun to watch. No, I don't see him coming back. You know, you know, the guy has changed here yeah, quite a bit. You know, you know, I, I used to chat to him a lot and everything. Like he doesn't log in on anything no more. I think he logs in on PS3 once every five months. He hasn't he hasn't chat to me no more. He doesn't say anything to me anymore. You know. I just think yeah that he's really busy with his own stuff, and he's had complete enough with a YouTube drama. You know, these days and ages, you can't say one opinion on here without getting bombarded with stuff and then some people treat it like you know you could say a mistake on YouTube we always do mistakes but sometimes somebody would make a mistake on YouTube and people would treat the guy as if he's committed the worst crime in, in history you know and then talk about how they want to see him off YouTube see him dead and stuff you know uh, so Joe Jedi I don't see Jedi coming back I think it's over really I think He's had it. I think he's had his time, and I think he just doesn't want it no more. I'm sad to see it as well because I did like his reviews. All right, um, let me just move to this a bit. And Martino007 asks, "Hi, how are you? So, why do you like to use wrestling slash MMA type characters such as King and Marduk when it comes to Tekken?" All right, the thing is, yeah, that um, there's actually two reasons why I definitely like using King, right? One of those reasons is actually the exact same reason that I like Marduk. So I'm going to get onto that reason first. You know, it's the fact that um, when I play beat em up games, you know, I sort of play on the instinct how how I how how I am, what am I a fan of? Probably how I would maybe fight in real life. Although I'm a shit fighter. Let's think of it this way. I've been a mixed martial arts fan from the beginning. I've been a mixed martial arts fan before I even knew there was mixed martial arts. Do you know why? 
because it chose me. It's just, it's, it's dead. It's like, you know what you like, you know what's in there you want. And then once you first see a picture of it, it's gonna bloom in your face. Now, what I do like about mixed martial arts is because I love boxing, I love kickboxing, I love Muay Thai, and I love grappling. I love Jiu Jitsu, and I like um, wrestling, and I like Judo as well, and I like sumo wrestling. I like, I, like, I like all the most folk wrestling that no one even knows about, you know? I like all of that stuff. And when you see people incorporating such in a sport, it's just it's fantastic. Now, so in Tekken's case, I'm sorry, in, in King's case on Tekken, I do like using grabs. In Tekken, I, 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 in fighting games, I always like using grabs. Anybody who plays fighting games with me knows that I like to grab a lot often. And I like to fight and knock them out. Like, I always mix it up, basically. And then um, with King on Tekken, he's got the best grabs because he's got grabs that combos into other grabs and other grabs into other grabs. His tech grabs got so much techniques. It's just so brilliant and there's so much different stuff you know and um, you know so King's always been that King's always been that um, perfect character for what I'm really a fan of and Craig Marduk is the same brings it, brings it his style comes into looking a bit more like the MMA stuff you know King's is more like MMA moves but Street Fighter Craig Marduk is like MMA balls for full stop you know what I mean now, um, uh, oh, there's actually another reason we're king as, we king as well. Because I mean, because when, when I when I when I first started Tekken, yeah, I didn't use King at the start. Although I really did love his moves and everything. And the reason why I didn't is because I was a little lazy. I didn't know how to do the combos. I didn't know how to do the moves. I didn't l learn them. But then when I really sat down and learned them and make sure that I do those moves, it really, you know, it really was um, you know fascinating. That it was really. It was just really brilliant. You really feel like you've achieved something to learn how to play a guy, play using a guy like that. You know, it felt so fantastic, and you know, King has just got that challenge about him, and it just that's why it, that's why I like him so much. And then, then the set, the other reason I want to say why I like King so much is when I did first saw him in Tekken Two, you know, he looked like an Anthro character. And we all know how much of an Amphro fan I am. And he, he did look at Amphro character. Because the way the graphics were, it didn't look like it was a mask he was wearing on his head. You know? So, and technically, he's always wearing the mask. So he's always going to look like an Amphro character. You know deep inside he's not an Amphro character. But he looks and he sounds like an Amphro character. You know? And, and it's such a lovely, unique characteristic that makes it perfect you know so even though I love I love um, wrest wrestling guys and um, MMA guys in the games and everything like, yeah I still like King mostly more because he's just an actual overall unique character it's you know a lot of people have been talking about King it's about time King be unmasked and I remember saying at one point maybe he should be but you know what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it right now I don't think King should ever be unmasked it's too it's too much of a unique character to just take the mask off and then make him back into other characters like Wolf Hulkfield, Wolf Hawkfield, however you pronounce his name, Zangief, or um, other wrestlers, you know what I mean, yeah? You know, keep that characteristic, that, that he roars and growls, and that's the subtitles, that's his words. Keep that fiction in there, keep that different, unique stuff in there. That's what makes, that's why I like King. That's why I like King of Marduk, real good characters, man gotta have characters like that and second who do you like best for women's MMA Misha Tate or Ronda Rousey okay and what why also anyone else you like okay so you're, you're saying out of only those two I was actually gonna say a third woman as it goes but um who do I like best for women's MMA I actually like Misha Tate better for MMA and the reason why is because she's real you know I, I never ever I never understand this um, logic or situation about um, you trash talk and you be disrespectful in your trash talk here yeah, to sell the fight. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand in this um, this uh, pro this situation of you've got to trash talk to sell the fight. I think it doesn't make sense. I think it's stupid. You know, like. 
I think that's, in my personal opinion, I think it's bringing the wrong fans in. Like, two brilliant fighters are about to fight each other. No, no one cares about it. We don't, we don't care about it, yeah. Then one person is trash talking and proper saying bad things and disrespecting the other people. And they oh yeah, we want, oh yeah, we want, we want to pay for it now. We will watch it now. I actually don't take people like that seriously as an MMA fan. I actually don't. And that that's the fans that you're bringing more into the sport. I think it's absolutely retarded. You can't, you know. You know, you, in my personal opinion, if, if that's what it takes for you to be hyped up as a fan, you must be more of a WWE fan than you are. Uh, an MMA fan because I think that's just I think that's very poor that's one of the reasons why I don't like Chell Sonnen because at the end of the day we know that these people aren't exactly like that in real life they're just putting on a character just to get money and stuff and I don't usually have respect for people like that I have respect for people like Misha Tate Sarah Kaufman Alexis Davis they just come in as themselves they sell the fight with, it, with what they need to do. They trash talk about the fight. You know, normal, real trash talk. They don't just put on an extra character and go into this evil person type thing just to make it so they can sell the fight. They sell the fights the way it needs to be fought. If you don't get those extra fans coming in, fuck them. That's what it's all about. So therefore, I agree with that bullshit. You know what I mean? I mean, I agree ag against all that bullshit. You know what I mean? But you, you get what I'm trying to say, yeah? So, Misha Tate is, is brilliant. Ronda Rousey, she is fantastic as an athlete, right, yeah? But, but the way she acts, it's, not my, it's just not my thing. Man United 15 asks, Do you see yourself buying a PS Vita? If so, what games would you like to play? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm finished with um, handhelds. I'm almost got to, I think, you know what, I'm almost to the point where I'm finished with consoles. <laughs> to be honest, I can't see myself buying... A new console at the moment you know no handhelds over well then even if i wasn't about console yeah i wouldn't buy a psp ever because the psp was fantastic it's done its job and everything that yeah and it's still doing its job as my mp3 player but there is a little but it does hurt your neck when you're playing down for hours it hurt my neck you know uh had so had i had so much fun i did have fun playing it but as for now, I can't see myself really getting an, a PS Vita. So, I mean, I, was, I played the PS Vita. There was a time when they did some grand opening thing in um, up in central London. I went there. I played the PS Vita. I played um, Super Stardust HD to see if it was any different. It was the exact same one. You know? But then I played other games as well. I played Top Darts on there. And, and you know, it's the same Top Darts on the PSN as well. I... I the the only thing what was really really fantastic here yeah, is the crossplay thing. Like um, you have you could have the wipeout, um, or you could you, you could have the wipeout yeah on um, your. Uh, give me a minute, <laughs> Jesus fuck, I'm, I'm messing up. Um, you could have the wipeout on the PS Vita. I forgot what the actual code name number for it was, and then I could have wipeout HD on the PS3, and we could play each other. That's fantastic, yeah, because we've been waiting for that year for a fucking long while. I think that's absolutely fantastic, you know. Uh, but I've decided I'm not going to get it, really. At the, at the moment, I don't even know if I'm going to get any new consoles or handhelds or whatever. And Wrestling Machine 9999 asks, um, Which Mortal Kombat and Tekken characters would make an awesome tag team? Well, I'm going to have to go a bit biased on this one, obviously. And I'm going to have to say Reptile and King, you know. Both characters are explosive, athletic, and but they, and they they come in a different sort of way. You know, reptile has a very sneaky technique. Like, in some of his things, he comes out of nowhere. He would come out of nowhere with nice, good, flashy kicks, and very, very agile. You know, it's like I know it's been like I sometimes mess about, yeah. Playing, playing Mortal Kombat here with my cousins and my friends there's a times where you can just come out of nowhere and the x-ray it's like it comes out of nowhere and then gets in your eyes it's like bam you know he has that sort of sneaky type of fighting which I think is just class you just don't know what he's going to do King is just big and sort of just it in your face will just come at you with explosive 
you know, smash you up and everything, you know what I mean? I just think um, both characters together would be fantastic. And keep in mind, Reptile is an Amphro character and King is like an Amphro character. Imagine if they, imagine how they commun communicate, you wouldn't know what tag team move they're planning, you know, and you wouldn't be able to work it out. So they'll be able to come at you with absolutely anything. You just wouldn't know. I think I think they'll be a damn wicked tag team. Damn wicked. So that would be terrific. And um, what's your f top five favourite enemies, monsters from Resident Evil? Hmm. Very good. Uh, let me see. For five, I'm going to go with the Reaper. That, that monster here yeah, was just sick. The death scene with it was just fantastic, you know. It probably just keeps like stabbing you in the stomach here, yeah, like proper body like body punches in your stomach yeah, until you're just dead and you just sort of just like take it take it hurts and hurts and you know, just like lie down like that, you know, you just you're dead. I think that's just what I think that's a sick death scene. I think the Reaper is a proper sick character. Um Wesker I got for number four. You know, yeah, I've written them down, yeah, just I don't forget them in it. Uh Wesker, Wesker I got for number four you know he's a very he's an enemy that um, you know every, everyone just remembers he always has a voice that makes me want to punch him in the face but then I always agree with the fact you know what we need some enemies who actually have that type of voice we ain't got really much good enemy voices lately since Alan Oppenheimer and for third I put down Nemesis because I think he is one of the. I think he is the best tyrant that we've had in a long while, and um, I still play Resident Evil 3 today, and I still just remember how much of a scary dude he was when he would run after you. Any even if you're in a safe room, he'll still run after you, and all that. He always will say stars. I think something that's actually programmed to kill only people working for stars. Can you just imagine? When you just say okay. Uh, sorry, I, I'm going to have to say I, I quit my job. <laughs> and second, I'm going to go with the Hunters. They they were just these monsters, the beasts that just knew that they just want to kill you. They're after, they're, they're, they're like there to kill you. You know what I mean? They were sick monsters, they were hard to kill. Um, the one, the one thing... I mean, there was one thing uh, I liked about the Hunters quite a lot, yeah. I remember there was actually some um, inspiration that I got from it, yeah, from a project, yeah, that I was doing, you know. Will that project ever come back to life? We don't even know, but, yeah. There, it, there's a lot of inspiration things about that character. And the top one, I'm going to have to say the Lickers. Because Lickers are also that type of fantastic monsters they just made. And they've developed up over over the years and how brilliant they look and everything like that, yeah? And how they move and stuff. Lately now you can see the real flexibleness they have. I like I like on Resident Evil 5 when you shoot them, they get up, their back is facing you. The way they turn around, you can see a bit of Voldo from Soul Calibur movements that he's got. The proper and their proper um you know, they're proper scary monsters as well. When you had that little situation of uh, walk quietly and they won't hear you type thing, you just know that's just dangerous. The tongues are always going to be a uh, disgusting fashion. I always made, like the um, unique sound that the old lickers used to make. And, but now, um, but, you know, but, but the lickers here to me are still fantastic, yeah. I now notice yeah, the, um, they, those characters are always going to be in the next Resident Evil games. Now you even see them in um, Operation Raccoon City. You know, that game is bloody hard. And I guarantee they'll continue them on in Resident Evil 6 as well. It's good that they're actually still keep, even though they're, they're not keeping Resident Evil like Resident Evil, at least they're keeping some aspects in there. But the Lickers has always been my favourite monster from Resident Evil. You know, and hopefully hopefully they keep them going so that's definitely that I've got to say for Resident Evil and B-Boy Agent Tekken asks hi there how are you 
Is there any? Sorry, uh, is there anywhere else? Uh, yeah, anywhere else you'd like you'd like to live, such as the U.S., Canada, and whatnot, or would you rather stick to Japan? Uh, well, see, the thing is, if, if I'm moving out of this country, Japan definitely seems to be the priority. Because remember, I've written down 30 reasons why I want to move to Japan. Now, how many reasons do I have to want to go to move to live in USA? I've only got two reasons why I want to live in USA. And one reason is because most of my fan base, most of the subscribers, and if they're not, yeah, the majority of them, all you guys live in, in the United States. You know, so I know if I was going to arrange something like a poor tea event, like play arcades or something like that, anything, a good meetup and everything like that, yeah, I can be confident it'd be a big meetup. If I had gigs down there, I could be confident maybe there'd be a big chance that a lot more fans would be able to come. So that's a, so that's a cool situation. And um, the other reason why I want to live in the US, in the USA, is because most of the UFCs is there, obviously, because it's an uh, UFC is an um, American organizer. Uh, American MMA organization so obviously it would always play at the normal times like f like the prelims 4 o'clock the main card starts at 7 o'clock I can actually watch I can actually watch UFC at proper times and stuff when I go to I'll be able to go to UFC's more often it's a situation of uh, like I won't be as much nocturnal as I am right now because I'm very nocturnal you know it's very lucky to see me awake at a time like this so um, there, there is that second is there any more arcades left in the UK if yes which ones are still available even if it's around your area I have not seen any arcades for a damn long while you know arcades are just I think they're just out of fashion now. I think they're just gone. They shouldn't be, but they. I think they just are. And Trocadero, I've not been to Trocadero since I heard it was down. So I don't know where these arcades are now. I don't know where the arcades are in London. In As for the UK, I think there is definitely some in Redcar. I don't know if they're still there, but Redcar is ridiculously far to go to. You're looking at a four-hour drive, and my friend don't even live in red car anymore anyway so uh, I know I don't I don't think I ever need to go red car ever, ever again but um, I didn't see much arcades in um, lower stuffed when I last went there yeah I, I've not seen no I ain't seen much um, arcades at all you know I think arcades are actually out of fashion I remember when the chicken and chip shops down there just used to have an arcade used to have at least a Street Fighter 3 or other Street Fighter games in it some those days are gone now because obviously people either buy the game or download the game so these days and ages boy it's not about that anymore now I think that's the last question but I'm starting to think here that I might have missed someone okay I can't see um, any other questions I didn't really get that much questions this this um, month but um, no worries guys um, so what is my next video going to be about I'm going to have an attempt here to record the future of gaming video again. There's <laughs> I think there's just things that... Maybe there's just things that I'm afraid to say on the video because... You know, because probably I'm not... It's probably going to come out the wrong way because I didn't explain it properly. It's one of those hard videos where you just don't know if you have that motivation or don't know even know if you want to say it type thing but um, I do definitely have another video planned and it's the fact that uh, I was writing down what I would like to see in a certain game that's coming out in the future so um, I'll probably talk about that yeah I'll probably talk about that so um, if that comes out I mean, so it should be one of those two videos maybe coming out next so that's all I've got to say guys, thanks very much, I'll speak to you all later, love who you are.